Hi guys, this is Lemon2551 and in today's BBD tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to add a flexible footer to your Weebly website. So this, the credit for this tutorial goes to www.weeblyforums.com Visit the website for more review tips. So this is how your website will look like after you add the flexible footer. You can add links add elements of su as such you can add many things to your flexible photo you can drag in elements inside and yeah so this is how you look like so let's get started so here I have me a uh, review website so you can see the footer over here uh, you're not able to drag in any elements so so the first thing you have to do is to go to this link Wibbleforums.com slash artists. So I will provide this in the description box below. So after going here, the first thing you have to do is to, to go to design and click on edit HTML CSS. So you have to be on the main style CSS. So the first code to copy to, to copy is this. You have to add a style like this, eh? Add a style copy this and paste it right at the bottom of the right at the bottom of this whole thing the chunk of the over here paste it over there and let me check um, yeah so you paste the whole thing over here after doing this so as you can see mine is a landing page so I'll click on landing.html so it depends on which page, which of pitch types you choose. And now for the second code will be this, step two. The instructions is also given on this post so you can also check the post for instructions. So the instruction instruction says to paste it above the line as footer in it. Even has a picture to show you how it's being done. So it's very good. So I think for me, I'm going to put over here and I'm going to paste it and I'm done with it. So now I save it and see if it works. And now you can see at the bottom, there's a place where you can put elements inside. Okay, where you can drag in elements, title text, drag in links and stuff. So this shows that it works. So sometimes you might notice that the footer doesn't fit. Like there's a huge margin up here which, which has not been filled. See? So to solve this problem, we need to use paint. Um, firstly, open up the paint. Okay. And print screen this whole thing and paste it so the reason for, for you to do that is to measure the length you will need from here to here so let me see um, So um, you go to design any HTML CSS, main style CSS. One four two three is a number, so we change the width to one four two three and save it and see how it looks like. So now as you can see, it's extended. So you can drag it over here and you can even add columns which is a very useful element and you can add links and stuff that you would like on your footer uh, and yeah that is how to add a, flex uh, add a flexible footer to the website so thank you guys for watching and have a nice day